Hey everybody, this is John at Sim Racing Revolution and welcome. So today we're going to take a look at Assetto Corsa Competizione. As you know, I've had a series, we've had four so far of me trying to raise my SA up to 60 in ACC. Now it's been increasingly frustrating because I am not hitting uh, the SA on every lap that I do. It's not increasing every lap and I'm getting very frustrated with that. Um, so we did have a user on the uh, on the you know comment section of the videos um it has really enlightened me on how we can uh maybe get rid of that frustration and more and better monitor our progression so stay tuned we're going to show you how to do that right after this Okay guys, we're back and before we get too much further, please smash that subscribe button and hit the like button and the bell icon. There you go. It's not that hard. All right, let's get to it. All right, so here is the comment. It's from Mr. Nick Thorne. So thank you so much for leaving the comment and anybody else who wants to leave comments to help me, please do because we're all in this together, right? Uh, so anyway, on the PC version, we can edit the HUD.json file to help a little bit with this. So it's under Documents, Assetto Corsa Competizione, and Config. There's a HUD.json, and the we want to focus on this Rating Widget Practice Focus and change that from a 0 um, to a 5. So that's what we're going to do. I already have that file open, and it's... Not too intimidating, it looks like this. Um, so right here it is, the rating widget practice focus. It is currently set to zero, so we wanna smash that to a five. Actually, you know what? First, we're gonna leave it as a zero. We're not gonna save this. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like currently, and then we'll go through and see what it what it's gonna change to. So let's go into a set of course of competition a quick. Maybe not quick, we'll see how fast this loads. Um, and we'll just see what it currently looks like in the game, and then we'll tweak it uh, the way we want it to look. And as soon as the game decides to load. Now it's loading off of a hard drive that's an external hard drive which a lot with a lot more space. Um, hopefully I can upgrade my internal Windows 1 eventually, but uh, for now this does just fine. So we're launching a set of course, uh, um, ACC. And we're going to go into basically the same kind of race that we were doing before. I'm not going to finish the whole thing. We're just going to show you what the, what the HUD looks like and what we expect, uh, that this change is going to show us. So as soon as we get in here, we'll, um, we'll go through all this. Here we go. All right. So if we go into our well, actually, for right now, let's take a look at our ratings right now. So we can see what we have here so far. And what we want to see is some better options. So, well, I don't know if that's going to change. But what should change for sure is if we do this, um, I'm going to change the day-night cycle here. So change it to noon, confirm and change that. And also I did want to change this back and this back just so we have more fun. All right, we're going to start the session. Well, not more fun, but you know what I mean. Uh, so we're still at Brands Hatch. Everything seems to be coming up just fine. Okay, here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to start race. Now you can see up in the corner there um, where we have our CP, RC, SA, PC, CCC, and TR. So what we want to see is the, a little more granular detail there. And so that's what we're going for here. So let's go ahead and get out of the game completely. So we're not just leaving track, although we are. Um, we're going to exit the whole game and we're going to go back into that file and I rate the rating widget practice focus. We're going to change that to a five and we're going to save this file. That's all you have to do. That's all we should have to do. So now let's launch 
ACC again. And you have to make sure you're out of Assetto Corsa Competizione before you do this change, or it's just not going to work. Well, it'll work the next time you launch the game. Maybe it won't work. It, well, no, it should work. I think it just reads the file when the, when the game boots up. Um, so you should be able to do it while you're in the game, but you won't see the changes until you do the game again, to go back into the game again. All right, so let's go back into single player race. Actually, before we do that, let's see if that change did anything uh, to our stats, our ratings uh, on here. No, it did not, so that's fine. Uh, let's see if it made any difference to our single player experience here and everything is the way we left it let's load it up and see what this looks like now i'm anxious to see what what change this is going to make for us Stay um, i'm not seeing any difference here so maybe we didn't change the right thing. Oh, there we go. Now we can see Trust and BWP come up. Um, interesting. Okay, I like that. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's let's get out again. Because I don't think we dove enough into it last time. Unless that HUD didn't show up at all. I'm thinking that HUD just did not show up. So let's see. Um, if we do this, get back into this race one more time here. I don't want this video to go on forever. But I, I want to make sure we cover all the bases here. So let's set this back to a zero. And save it. And now go back into the game. I don't think this widget will come up at all. So I think a zero kind of turns the widget off. Um, so let's let's take a look and see. And single player start session. Okay, so we'll get back in here and see what actually. Because uh, I don't remember seeing that come up normally. But I could be wrong, so let's see what, what happens here. Once we're allowed to actually move. Okay, cars are moving. Yeah, see that HUD does not come up at all. So that's what I was thinking. Uh, so, very cool. Um, so now that's going to change. So the idea here, and we'll go back to... Um, to Mr. Thorne's comment here in a second, as soon as I exit out of all this. Okay, so first of all, let's change this back to a five and let's save this. We wanna keep that setting uh, the way it is. And so now let's go back into this comment here. So you will see trust in OBWP expresses floating point numbers, which we did. Um, and there's some, some examples there. Uh, so we want to avoid OBWP and increase our trust. Uh, this helps because each lap those numbers do change and gives a much easier way to determine how much progress you're really making. Uh, the preset default HUD readout can be discouraging when you don't see your SA go up lap after lap, after lap which we saw. Uh, especially in round four video, uh, it was just getting frustrating because I was like, it's not, it's not doing anything. What am I doing wrong? Um, so yeah, and now some pointers here that he threw in here as well, which is very nice. Uh, the longer you stay in a dog's fight side by side racing as well as bumper to bumper, the more rapidly your trust grows as you avoid contact with other cars, obviously. Um, and then, you know, his idea here was let the AI overtake you on a corner, push hard on the straight, and try to stay alongside for as long as possible. Uh, that is why S 
the spa is a favorite farming track. So there you go. So you can farm for your uh, SA and get it up there. Now, another user had commented to go into the online races and just go ahead and, and race an online race. Um, I don't think that's a good idea based on Nick Thorne's comment here. Uh, yesterday started with an SA of 99. Four hours later, after several lobby races, it dropped to 85. Um, so I would think we want to avoid the online lobbies um, just because, you know, that's kind of the way it is. Um, yeah, although 80 plus lobbies seem to be a bit safer, but not much. Uh, league racing is the only real option, ACC or uh, low fuel motorsports. So I think the idea here is that we are going to just do league racing because we don't want to go into the online lobbies and really screw it up now. So we're going to try that once we actually get our SA up um, and then we'll go from there. So anyway, guys, that's about all I wanted to cover in this video. Come on right back and we'll wrap all this up. All right, guys, welcome back and thanks a lot for watching again. Once again, please hit that subscription button down below. Hit that like button that really does help and hit the bell icon so you know when the videos that I make are going to be coming out. Uh, so thanks a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed that and got a little something out of it. If you're trying to get your SA to increase and you're getting really frustrated, try this out. It may help out. Uh, when we do our round five video, we're definitely going to do that. Uh, we're going to leave it the way it is actually forever. And uh, we're going to see how that goes. And we're going to follow Mr. Nick Thorne's comments. Thank you so much for commenting, by the way, Nick. It really does help. And uh, everybody else who does comment, it does help a lot. And I love getting your comments, and we'll, you know, take it from there. So thanks again, everybody. This is John Sim Racing Revolution. Keep sim racing. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.